Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look into the DXY, into the US dollar index and also into the Ethereum price because currently we have some very interesting price action going on. Bitcoin is falling towards the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame as we were expecting it yesterday. Yesterday I told you my friends that we were falling off from this important support trend line here at around $35,000. We came also up here towards the 20 moving average in the four hour and here we got the confirmation that we have now this new resistance right here at around $35,000 and we were about to come down to test the 200 moving average in the four hour. So currently everything is still looking good. We are having right now a little bounce here from this 200 moving average. You can see that we already are having this little wick here but as it looks right now, my friends, I don't think that this uh, support here will hold for too long because currently the lower time frames are still pointing out that we will see continuation to the downside and it's still a bit too early to enter into a long position or buy more Bitcoin. So if you don't have any Bitcoin at the moment, maybe right now it's not a bad idea to start DCAing into Bitcoin if you don't have any Bitcoin but of course if you already have a hodl position and you're waiting with some cash on the sideline to buy at a cheaper price then maybe wait till we're gonna reach our ultimate bearish targets that in my opinion could still happen since we still have a lot of warning signs and that's why also we have to go over into the bigger time frames but first let's focus here quickly into the lower time frames although we can go over into the one hour because the one hour is currently clearly in a downtrend we are falling off here always when we are testing these important moving averages above of us especially here like the 20 moving average or the 9 moving average as well you can see that we always get rejected here and we are trading with all the moving averages below the 200 which is right here at $36,300 so the one hour time frame is in a downtrend and if we go over into the three hour time frame then you can see that here we are already starting to trade below the 200 moving average which is right here at $34,000. So in my opinion it is still very likely that we see maybe now a bounce towards thirty-four dollars or $35,000 to reconfirm our resistance. It's not yet sure that we're gonna see that big of a bounce because uh, the RSI and also in my own indicator you can see that we're still shifted to the downside we still have a little bit of room to the downside we are not completely in oversold uh, condition and for everyone that is trading with my own indicator over on the discord the three hour time frame wait at least till we're gonna get here a confirmed buy signal if you want to take a little long position because sooner or later as soon as here we're gonna get a buy signal in the three hour time frame we're gonna see a breather to the upside and then of course we will see what will happen if we are able to trade again above $35,000 and close again candles above that important uh, now potential resistance area or not because even though we could see a breather maybe here from 31 to 33,000 dollar up to 35,000 I think that the momentum now is clearly shifted to the downside and we should expect continuation towards our big bearish targets that I will show you again in the bigger time frames so the one hour is in a downtrend three hour also downtrend four hour not yet we are now trading between the important moving averages here like the 9 and 20 MA down to the 200 so we're trading right between here and I think as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close below the 200 moving average so below 31,500 we're gonna see continuation to the downside potentially to our bigger bearish targets between 27 to 20k and therefore now we go over into the daily time frame because here you can clearly see the next potential support areas first here the $27,000 area then here 24,000 could be also potential support but if we're breaking below 27,000 I think that most likely we're gonna also come down to test this important support area which previously was of course a very strong resistance right here at around twenty thousand 
dollar and why i also think that we could see this potential bigger drop right now in this week or latest next week happening is also because of the volume as you can see here when we topped out at forty two thousand dollar we had a big spike here in the volume and this also usually signals that this is a very important price level here and a big move is happening right now when we have this big spike in volume and as you can see we had here a massive drop towards $30,000 from this $40,000 top that we had currently. So this proves me also that we could be in a local top here with this $42,000 and we could see this correction down to these important supports levels that need to be tested successfully in order to gear up again for the next big parabolic move to the upside and in the daily time frame we also have now a first daily close below the 20 daily moving average so below $35,700 also you can see that this morning we came a little bit up here to test again this moving average but currently we are falling off the cliff and this is the last possible support here before a major drop so this $31,500 is the last opportunity for Bitcoin to have another big pump here to the upside it is also possible that we are starting to trade for a couple of days or weeks between 31,500 and the 20 daily moving average right here $36,000 but overall this could be a potential beginning of a trend reversal where we're going to see in the next couple of days maybe also weeks the price dropping towards our main supports down here I think these three price levels are very important support levels to be hold and this is also where you should try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and also open up some nice long positions over on Bybit or Femex. So after dropping and closing now below the 20 daily moving average in theory here in the daily we could now easily go towards this first support here at around $27,000 where also the 50 daily moving average is lining up. So I think it is very likely that if today we are not able again to go above the 20 daily moving average and also close daily candles above this important support up here which now could be acting as a new resistance, we will most likely see this continuation towards our next targets here, 27,000, 24,000 and then 20K. And at the time that we will reach this area down here, in my opinion, most likely also the 200 daily moving average will be lining up more or less at these price levels. And of course, this is also a very likely target to be reached and tested here, this 200 daily moving average average we are still far away from it so the more days passes the higher this moving average is coming and that of course is good because then we will not see a drop below this important moving average so most likely not below 20k and now let's go over into the weekly time frame because here you can see that my own indicator is still flashing here a sell signal and I told you guys that always when we have a sell signal flashing there is a very high danger that we could see during this week a bigger correction down to the 9 or 20 weekly moving average. So if we're coming down to the 9 weekly moving average right here $27,500 here is where I'm starting to DCA again with the profits that I took up here back into Bitcoin and maybe Maybe also start to open up some longs over on Bybit and Femix without leverage. I'm gonna switch into leverage once my trade then is in profits because if we're gonna drop lower than that, so lower towards 24,000 or maybe even towards 20k, where now also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up, I can easily add more into my long position over on Bybit and Femix and of course also buy more and more Bitcoin at a cheaper price because I don't think that the price will drop lower than the 20 weekly moving average so if you're starting to scale in some nice longs between 27,000 down to 20k you should be doing fine for the long term because I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that and also based here in the RSI you can see that we still have a lot of room left here in the weekly down to the 50 level this is where I'm expecting then a big bounce so if we're coming down to these levels we also have to keep an eye into the RSI because if the RSI is dropping below the 50 level then we could be in a bigger correction maybe even a bit below the 20 weekly moving average but as long as the RSI is staying above the 50 we should dare see a big bounce and then continue our parabolic run to the upside because don't forget my friends even though we could see now a correction Bitcoin is looking very bullish in the bigger picture and we should expect big continuations to the upside and these healthy corrections these big pullbacks that we could see this week or next week are healthy and of course this is a great accumulation time for everyone that is waiting on the sideline with a bit of cash to buy more 
Bitcoin. And now, my friends, let's go quickly over into the DXY. I just want to cover quickly here the US dollar index because, as you can see, currently we are still trading above the 20 daily moving average. So, even though we have seen now in the last couple of days here a pullback, we are still getting supported by the 20 daily moving average. So in theory, as long as we're closing candles above this moving average, we should expect the DXY to go higher towards our potential targets here between the 200 and 100 daily moving average. This area here, which previously was support and consolidation area, and now it could be acting as a strong resistance if the DXY is able to push towards these levels up here. So, so far we didn't see here a big pump in the DXY yet. If it's not happening this week, let's see next week. But I think sooner or later here we will see some price action as well. Hopefully, of course, to the downside, because that, of course, would mean that we will see big continuations already now in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market. But be aware that we still could see this big pump here in the DXY and that, of course, could lead into that bigger correction that we're waiting in the Bitcoin price. And now let's go over to the Ethereum price. This is Ethereum US dollar. And here also you can see that currently we got rejected here at this $1,400 area and the price is coming back down to test the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So here in the Ethereum price, we are also looking a bit exhausted and the correction could happen also here, especially if Bitcoin is starting to fall. The only positive thing that I see currently in the Ethereum chart is if we go over into Ethereum to Bitcoin pair because currently you can see that Ethereum is still outperforming Bitcoin in the last couple of days. So that could maybe continue for a couple of hours and days more that Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin at least a little bit here in the lower time frames. But also here, I think very soon we're coming to an end because if Bitcoin is going to correct hard, also Ethereum most likely is going to have a big drop to the downside. And here in the four hour, we are already creating here this rising wedge which usually are bearish patterns and the breakout target would be here the bottom of around 0.036. So watch out if you have some profits now in some altcoins or like here Ethereum to maybe take a bit of profits out into Bitcoin because currently the Ethereum Bitcoin pair is very good to take some profits into Bitcoin or of course also into fiat if you don't have any fiat on the sideline to buy the dip if we're gonna continue to go lower because Ethereum currently is testing this previous resistance trend line which now should be acting as a new support but if we are starting to close at least four hour candles below $1,230 I'm pretty confident that we will also here see continuation towards the 200 moving average right down here at around $950 and if Bitcoin is starting to close candles below the 200 moving average in the four hour I think that also Ethereum will follow Bitcoin and start to head lower here and my next potential target here for Ethereum if we're gonna lose here this $950 area is down here at this previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support right at around $740. So you see my friends, we are facing now a very critical point. I told you also in my yesterday's video that once we're coming down to the 200 moving average in the Bitcoin price, this is going to be very hard to trade because in theory we should expect here a big bounce to the upside. But if we are not able to go back in track here into our bull trend and creating higher highs, so we have to take out at least this high over here at $38,000 in the four hour in order to be again shifted to the upside here and expect new all time highs. So as long as we are in this danger zone here between the 200 moving average and the 20 moving average in the four hour, I'm still neutral. But as soon as we're going to have a four hour close below the 200 moving average in the four hour or above the 20 moving average, I'm going to be again more bullish if we break out to the upside. And of course, if we're starting to close below the 200 moving average, I'm going to be again more bearish because in that case, the bigger correction that we are waiting now for so long is in the cards, my friends. And this is the best opportunity then to buy more Bitcoin at a cheaper price and also to start scaling in some nice long positions because for the long run as soon as Bitcoin is creating again a new bottom potentially towards 27,000 to 20k and you are sitting in a nice long position once we're gearing up again for 40k and higher not only your bitcoins will be worth way more but also your long position will be in huge gains and like this you can do the most gains my friends and if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex use my referral links down below here because with my links you will get some extra money and currently also we have this special promotion going on over on Bybit if you 
put this voucher code jackpot in the rewards hub and you put a deposit between 0 0.01 bitcoin up to 1.5 bitcoin you can get up to 500 dollars and of course check out also my other referral links for coinbase swissburg binance and so on because with those links you will get some extra money if you register with my link so you can buy even more bitcoin and for all coinbase users we still have some slots free to claim your free altcoins so if you're using coinbase with my invitation links down below here you can get for example band protocol stellar or cheat eos or compound without doing anything just click here on the links watch like a short video and you get rewarded with some altcoins on coinbase this is the easiest way to get some free money and please join also our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and if you want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin for a little donation you can contact me over there and you can get access on discord as well and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to hit that like button it helps very much here for this youtube channel and of course i really much appreciate your support make also sure to subscribe to the channel and also tick the little bell so you will get always notified as soon as i upload a video thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>